up in them heels I know you got a minute, a second to kill I just want to have a little combo Hopefully Welcome you. back to the J. Davis Show Our first guest is in the building Jennifer Reyes, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'll just put those on for and um, it was, I want to once again apologize if I gave you the wrong address. That was my fault. That's fine. Now I'm a little late, but it's, I'm it's, here. it's my fault. <laughs> but thanks for uh, coming out. Uh, could you tell the fans a little something about yourself? Um, well, you know, I'm born and raised Chi Town. Started modeling a year ago. I worked with several Chicago artists, John Blue, LUP. I've also worked with Kimmy Bill. Um, I'm in Black Men Magazine. Um, also worked with Paper Doll Magazine, Chicago based. I got the cover going to be releasing for Eye Candy Magazine within the next couple weeks, so watch out for that. And um, just, you know, trying to make it in the industry out here. Well, that's what's up. Congratulations, girl. Thank you. You're doing big things for a year. Yeah, yeah. You're a model. You're making moves. Uh -huh. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm trying. Just trying to get out there and let people notice Chicago talent because, you know, a lot of people don't really notice what we got out here. So. Yeah, Chicago has a lot of talent. It is talent, but we got it. <laughs> so, how was it working or being, you know, black men? How was that experience overall? Um, it was a great experience. Actually, um, it was unexpected. I was just um, on vacation in Orlando for All Star Weekend. Mm -hmm. And then um, actually the editor of Black Men Magazine approached me. He's like, you know, you're beautiful. You have, you know, you have a lot of talent, a lot of potential. He said, I want to have you featured in my magazine. And I said, oh, okay, well, what magazine is it? He's like, Black Men. I'm like, okay, for sure. You know, that's something that I, I was working towards getting anyway. So when he just approached me, I didn't have to do auditions, anything. He just basically said, you know, I want you in it. And we shot the next day. Mm -hmm. On my vacation, so it was, oh, it, yeah. That it was, was meant fun. to be. Yeah, it was. was it was a great experience. Oh. Yeah. So what other type of modeling have you been involved in? Um, I know you've done the John Blue thing, the LED. But first of all, how was that experience overall being on, you know, the music industry? Um, it, it's fun. Um, you need a lot of acting skills because, you know, we have there's different types. Let me just dance around and the um, actually the John Blue video that's going to be released in um, BET and I think it's a couple of weeks. It's going to be released um, called uh, Take It There. So that was a very like intimate video like we had to act like we really were in love and it was it was interesting so yes <laughs> so it was a good it was a good uh, experience because i you know i've been in videos but i haven't always been in main and since there's so many you know vixens out there and models out there it's like you get like two or three seconds of a shot because i also did the round of applause video the walk of vlog oh. and um i think i was in there about six times but it just I flashed in and out so quickly, but you know, it was a, it was a good experience. It was crazy. That that was like the most insane video I've done. So how do you separate yourself from the typical, as you mentioned, vixens or mm -hmm. video chicks? How do you separate yourself from those stereotypes? Um, well, you know, I'm a mom, mm -hmm. so I kind of um, I always stay humble. I mean, I never forget where I came from. I never forget. I have two little girls that you know I'm responsible for, and I have to raise. I can't go out there and I can't do as much as other quote quote mix, vixens or models do but I try my best and I stay humble and I always you know try to represent Chicago well and I mean I have my limitations mm -hmm. so I don't I don't do too much stuff but you know it's 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 I think I kind of separate myself a little bit yeah because most importantly you have yeah. respect for yourself oh definitely you represent yourself and your kids well there's a couple opportunities that I um, turned down for um, just certain uh, reality shows that kind of weren't going to portray me in a good light, so mm -hmm. I turned it down. You know, ended in a fist fight or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of those type of shows. And I'm like, oh, I don't think I want my daughter Googling my name if she sees yeah. me, like, pulling some girl's hair. Right. Like, and that's, that's, that's right. Punches. Yeah, she's like, oh, that's cool. I, you know, I can do right. it in school. Like, uh, no, no, no. She's, she's six, and she's uh, she's very outspoken already, so mm -hmm. I, I really have to, like, watch what I do with her, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like out of the videos that you've done already, like what would you say is one that was like you was really happy to do or you enjoy that, you know? Um, I would say, uh, I mean the round of applause, I just love that song. Okay. So, yeah, they, <laughs> yeah I just love, it just, you know, makes me want to dance, yeah. I mean, um, I've never seen so many big booties in my life. <laughs> 
like, oh my goodness. Like, I thought I had a little dog. And then I went over there, and these girls were just like, they didn't even have to dance. They just stood there, just it wiggled the guy, and their whole their whole booty was shaking. I'm like, oh my goodness. Right. So <laughs> they had me kind of like dance. I was kind of like intimidated at first, like, oh my god, I can't really make a class. So I was really working. Like I was breaking a sweat. I was like, I swear I did. I was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm, yeah. The, my manager at the time, she's like you know, if you don't feel comfortable, you know, you can go and, and like kind of be in the background. I'm like, oh no, right. I'm going to do this. I will shake it some way, some way. <laughs> <laughs> so I think me, right? Oh, right? I did. And I was in it and I was like, I'll make sure that, you know, people do see me in it because I don't right. want to be that little glimpse like, oh, she's in there for a point one second. I'm more in the uncut than the um, the regular version because they had so much scripted stuff. I don't know if you've seen the video. A lot of it was really scripted. I didn't really get the whole concept, but you know, they just, artists have their own crazy concepts anyway. Yeah. So like, <laughs> so I think that video, definitely. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And like with you being a model and everything, like, do you have any like crazy fans? Have they ever like approached you with anything crazy? Like with something that just pops in your head? Um. I mean, I get emails and, and Facebook messages and tweets every day, and people have, draw pictures of me and, and email them to me, and then they, they think like, oh, look at I drew this picture of you, and I want you to sign it. I'm like, you just just you just drew a picture of me, and that is like, kind of insane. And right now, I'm kind of I'm not noticing that I'm kind of going up the scale like where I'm at right now in my career. So I'll go out to the club sometimes, and I have people like, hey, Jenny. Can I take a picture with you? Grabbing me, trying to take pictures. I'm like, what the heck? And this right. one, like these guys are just like, hey, can I pay your bills? Wow. Let's do, yeah, that's that's the big the big uh, pick of line. Can I pay your bills? And I'm like, um, no. That usually I'm begins good. with the guy trying to wear your face eventually. Huh? The guy trying to kill you and wear your face eventually. That's what that's <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. I got, I I've heard a lot of stories and stuff, so I'm kind of. Yeah. Now I'm trying to stay low key. I'm trying to stay home, not really go out unless I do an appearance. Cause cool. I tried that last week and it did not work. <laughs> 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 like, you know, I gotta stay home. <laughs> what are some of the things that you love and hate about model? Um, I mean, I love. Um, I just love doing it. Like it's my passion. It's fun to me. I mean, it's easy for me. I mean, I'm very photogenic. I, you know, I have a good personality. So I kind of people meet me and they kind of like, you know, they 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 really like me. They you know, they follow my career and they believe in me. But like the worst thing I think is, um, it's just, there's so much competition. You know, everybody thinks that they're a model. And I mean, I can, I can say that because I have girls writing every day, like on Facebook, hey, I, I you know, I take the pictures, so I want to be a model. And then people, you know, every day I have their models everywhere, but it's really like. How many bathroom model pictures have you seen? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> every day, someone got to they get an Instagram and they're an instant model. <laughs> that was my when I first started. I did the duck lips. I thought that was the best, the best, best, best. And then after a while, I was like, hmm, okay. I gotta, yeah, it's anymore. Yeah, it's everybody. Or the peace sign, or, you know. And I'm like, hmm. Butt tooted out like bams, white like, you know. I have to let a few more cuts. No, that is not hot, baby. Sorry. Before you be a model, clean up your bathroom. Please. I don't want to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Two face stains in the mirror, you know. Like, I, I'm telling you, I, 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 since I got Instagram, that's really been like, it's, I just laugh every day I go on and I see just girls doing different things, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I mean, I'm glad you're trying. Don't get me wrong. You know, if you want to do it, do it, but you just don't post any picture of and think, say you're a model because you're not. <laughs> Have all. you always wanted to be a model? What inspired you? Inspired you? Who inspired you to actually get into modeling? Um, actually, I started. Um, I got into modeling when I was uh, 11, 12, and I did um, Nike commercials like Walmart ads, Walgreens ads. I also did like Jiffy peanut butter commercials, and so um, from there, I kind of like I was really going to school for it and etiquette classes, and I was really, really into it. But I was so young that. I was wishy-washy with what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, as I got older, everybody just kept telling me, hey, you know, do you model or you should start modeling again? And I just, I just kind of got back into it. Like, it just, from when I was younger, I just kind of always, like, that kind of was my passion. Because I went to school for law. 
So I have, yeah, I'm certified in law. So Good. I wanted to be a police officer. I thought I was gonna do the whole running around, stopping people, you saying. Like no, I thought I. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. And then after that, I was like, you can't, you can't be a police officer. I'm like, yes, I can. Got my certification. And after I was like. I, I'm gonna use my looks now because I'm not gonna have them forever. So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so is there anything else that you're involved in or that you're interested in besides the law and all those things? As far as the entertainment business, is there anything else that you may have branch, that you would branch off back into? Like, would you restart doing commercials again? Um, I actually do. I want to start acting again. I want to get an acting coach. So that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. Okay. And. Um, in the long run, I actually want to have my own talent agency. That's my that's my ultimate goal. Like I want to manage people, and I know so many people with talent and models, and it's just everybody asks me for help right now. And I honestly wish I could, but I don't have the proper connections that I need. So it, I hope within at least like three to five years, I have my own agency and and can help everybody else out with what they want to do in their passion. Because I mean, it, like I said, it's a tough industry, and it's like I I want to help people get it, you know, because. I have done this all by myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've traveled, I've met people all by myself. I, I basically kind of build my own name up. I don't have a manager, I don't have anything, it's just me. Oh, good. So, yeah. Oh, I, I got all this all this for myself. I'll be your manager. <laughs> I, can, I can be your manager. <laughs> Your daughter being six years old, she's already outspoken. Right. Do you think, has she shown any interest in wanting to act or model or anything of that sort? Um, she likes to sing. She likes to and sing. And dance. Like I have her tap dancing ballet, oh, and gymnastics. That's and the best time to get she them sings, She sings opera. She's just, wow. Oh, yeah, wow. Um, she loves opera. She's like, opera's the best. I'm like, okay. <laughs> she hates hip hop. She hates rap. Wow. Like if I put GCI in the car, she'd be like, Mm, no, turn it off. Turn it She's off. She's like, I'm too classy. She well, yeah. like, I have the same thing too. Really? But, <laughs> but that's where the money that though is like opera and, oh, yeah. and symphonies. They, I, they I, make mad money. I, I told her, I was like, you want to go to school for it? You know, you want to kind of get into it? And she's like, no. She already quit first grade. She, you know. She did it all already. Oh, wow. So. Now, have you ever dealt with any crazy photographer? Like, you showed up and he had a shirt off immediately. Like, um, some baby oil on the side. Yeah, yeah, well, I dealt with some weirdos um, yeah. when I first started. Because, you know, you just want to get pictures out there. And yeah. you kind of don't know who's who good. Right. Yeah, who is who. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, okay, cool, I'll do it. He's going to pay me 100 bucks. Oh, sure, right. you know, gas money or something. Right. So I did one, and it was in um, a, a barber shop, oh, wow. which was weird. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, He's like, okay, well, like he just kept wanting to take pictures of like my butt. That's it. I was oh, like, oh, wow. just turn around. Like, oh. Put your leg up. No, turn around. And I'm like, scoot it out. Yeah, I'm like, this guy's a little weird. Like, like very... My face is over here, motherfucker. Yeah, he so. was, he was weird. <laughs> Inspiring models out there. If you show up to a suit, a shoot, and a guy doesn't have a camera, but he has condoms, I think you should go home. That's just my yeah, sure. Condoms. Or uh, if uh, bring somebody along with you, especially yeah. you have to know. Never travel alone. Oh yeah, never travel alone. If the dude has like a bunch of disposable cameras, chances are he's not really into photography. <laughs> or has a super old right. camera. If you hear that, <laughs> wait till my charge. He went to my flash charge up again with the orange light come on. No, he's not really professional. That's terrible. You were saying that, um, you know, getting the agency and everything was like um, your biggest goal. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other goals? As well. Um, so basically, that's just that's my biggest that's my biggest goal. That's where I really I want to end and up. That's really good. So yeah, because you know I, the industry, like I said, it's fun for me. It's something I enjoy, and I want to help, like I said, other models and and people that have skills that that you know people don't really notice them because you know Chicago is very tough to really you know be in the industry. So I want to have it out here, and I want to show you know like we have a lot of talent, but you, you gotta look for it. So I mean that's my ultimate ultimate goal. Definitely. Um, what would you say is like one of your favorite places that you've been as far as like modeling and things like that? Like, um, hmm. I don't know. I mean, I haven't done too much modeling like out of out of like state states of like videos. I say um, I liked uh, I liked Atlanta for some reason. I had a lot of fun. I met so many people out there, and I think that, that so there's. So much people in the industry in Atlanta that I never really realized, and I, I never noticed because I've never been there. Mm -hmm. So being out there, I, I met you know a lot of big artists and and a lot of people that really like benefited me and helped me out. So 
Definitely. I say it was fun, and then there's like crazy, you know, strip clubs are insane. Right. So <laughs> I, I, I didn't even go to a club. I went to every strip club. Everyone's like, okay, we're gonna go here, here, here. Everyone's a strip club. I'm like, okay, let's go. Like, I'm not, I'm not afraid. So. How long were you, when you were in Atlanta? How long were you there for? Um, I was there for a week. Okay. Yeah. So it was, it was a fun experience. Cool. I met a lot of, a lot of good people out there. Now, I'm looking at you, and we ask like some crazy questions on the show. Looking at you, I'm sure you have been on the set with some models, and I heard, I know you have heard this phrase before, that bitch thinks she's cute. Now, <laughs> have you been on something like, like a fight nearly broken out on the set, or have you seen models fight? Um, the Round of Applause video, yeah. <laughs> oh. but, you know what's crazy is that they weren't even really models. I think like 70% of, no, 75% were strippers, were real strippers. Wow. So they were just all trying to get in there and just like have their booty jiggle like, oh, I was in that video. So they're fighting and arguing. They wanted to get into it with me because I was the only Hispanic girl there. Oh, they, and then I'm pretty, so they're like, mm, yeah. yeah. So then you find yourself. You, 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 <laughs> you don't got to dance. You don't got to shake your, you know, because uh, you look good. Right? And if I had a pretty face like you, I'm like, well, if I had a, you know, booty like you, I'll be, I'll be dancing, right. but I don't. So I'm so, gonna sit here and look good. So would you say that uh, strippers are the enemy to models? It's like strippers versus models. Is that like the new beast? Strippers are the new freaking models. Wow. Look at like, you know, all the the models that are cover girls right now are strippers. So it's insane that you, we, you know, before it was like, oh, you, you dancers were so criticized and everything, and now they're, you know glamorized and they're on covers and it's like there's real models that work for things and they're over there just dancing around and they get on covers like in a snap of a finger. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I mean I give them props because I mean I couldn't be on the stage all day doing all that but. <laughs> I, I think that's cool that you know you you had identify it but you not hating on it. You know no. what I'm saying? Like, I think that's cool. I think everybody has their, their own lane. Yeah their own lane and what they how they get it is how they get it. Exactly. You know, you're not feeding me. I, I mean, exactly. I don't care. Exactly. <laughs> I could care less of what you do. Exactly. You know, people in the industry talk, oh, this girl did this to get up there. I don't care. She's there. Where right. are you talking about her? Wow. You know what I'm saying? So it is, I just, people, you know how Chicago is too. They hate a lot. Yeah, a yeah. lot. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. I post on my Facebook. I'll put like, oh, I'm having a great day. I'll get 500 likes. I post, oh, going to a, to a reality show trial. One like. You know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. geez, you're supposed to be, or I'm on this magazine, three <laughs> likes. And then I'll put like, oh God, I'm tanning, 10 likes, 30 likes. I'm like, every time I post that I'm doing something, they don't like it. They don't want to see you up there. But when you're you're down there, it's like, oh, she's tanning. That's great. I like that. Right. Like, <laughs> I'm that like button. I, I put like, man, my dog died, 15 likes. I'm like, wait. Yeah, like, why are you like, yeah. Right. Dog right. Dog you like that? Hating on my dog now, right? <laughs> well, well, Jennifer, like, so usually if you have like a rapper on the show, we say, hey, could you rap for a poet? Could you speak some poetry? Since what you need one, one, <laughs> could you just, since the people can't see you, would you mind standing up for the video camera so everyone can see? Cool body um, shot. Like what I see, right, what I've been praying for sweet baby Jesus to make a wardrobe malfunction <laughs> for like the last 20 minutes. So, yeah, sure. low budget, can you man the camera? Yes, I, I sure will. Could you, could you burn that microphone? You're like killing me with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's White Castle. <laughs> he said burn. White Castle. It's both. But burn. Hold on, I have to adjust. Jennifer, oh, Justin. we're going to adjust too. <laughs> Jay is hoping for a Okay, all right. This is me. Yeah. Yes, this is what I look like. Can we get a reenactment of the make it the uh, round of applause? <laughs> <laughs> Can you show us exactly how you did what you did to do what you had to do to? Was, um, if anyone wants to reach you or book you or whatever, what's the best way to do it? Um, they could reach me on my email, which is jentheprincess69 at gmail.com. Or you could reach out on my Twitter at jennyray23. Mm -hmm. Or you could go on my Facebook, Jenny Ray. You can find me on there. Okay. Basically, just send me an email. I manage all my bookings. So you'll okay. just speak like directly to me. Okay, cool. Cool. So if I need you, because I make movies, not porn, but I, mean, I got to say that every time you I say that. Like movie. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll make it. So if I need you for a movie, you'll be down to shoot it? Sure. Me and John Blue are not the same person, for the record. <laughs> you know, I was going to say that when I, when I first met you. It's the same height, though. Never. I'm taller than that. Look. It's like a half-inch. It's like a half-inch. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. You guys are like brothers or something. Oh my God. <laughs> we got the same daddy. <laughs> Well, Jenny, I want to thank you for coming out. We really appreciate well, it. Thank you for having me. Um, and you have anything you want to plug? Any shows coming up or anything? Um, let me see. I'm in the process of a reality show right now. It's going to be filming in Chicago uh, within the next couple of months. Can't really give the name yet. That's but cool. That's cool. It's going to be based on um, Chicago Latinas. And oh, it's going to be hell based yeah. out of a salon. So I'm going to be in it. Um, and my best friend, Ernest Santiago, she's going to be in it. She's also... Um, She's a professional dancer model in Chicago as well. DC and Spanish. so um, that'll be out, so you guys better watch out for that. That should be pretty interesting. I got a Follow me around. Can you say Violet reality show, right? It, it, there might be some, but it's not going to be all of us. So let's grab that. Violet reality show. We're going to find some people. There's going to be, and especially if you're following a bunch of Latinas. Right, Latinas. Can we hear a little bit of Espanol, por favor, señorita? <laughs> Let me hear a little bit of Spanish real quick before you go plug plug everything you do. I can't. I don't even know Spanish. Why? Okay. Okay. My races up, you little budget. I'm <laughs> at. Yeah. Look. Hey. She, now, if she want to say, why don't speak some Swahili? Watch this. Right. Watch this. No, I'll watch this. You ready? <laughs> Well, we don't want to thank you again for coming out. Um, let's take a break. You ready to take a quick break? Man, let's go, man. Okay. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back for more of the video. Single, single, single. Single, single. Yeah. Slow down, girl. Why you walking so fast? So fast. I hate he loves songs, but I'm writing one for you. What's up? This your girl, Jamisha Trice, and I'm listening to The Jay Davis Show every Saturday from 2 to 4. Jay Davis, you nasty.